Hey y'all, we're back on the pop-up camper and uh, we had to cancel our camping trip this weekend. Our very first camping trip had to get canceled because of this little area right here. Down in this little box area is where the um, crank is that raises and lowers the pop-up camper. You want to say hey Elizabeth? Hey! And uh, basically what it is is the floor has a little bit of rod up under it and I was in there cleaning it out and moved a piece of wood that was not factory in my defense. It wasn't supposed to be there. I moved it. Well, it was under tension and started to pull through the floor. So I put it back. But instead of going and camping and risking it collapsing, we, uh, we decided we'd go ahead and start trying to get it fixed. So uh, we're going to do a little video here showing you what we do. I'm not saying it's right, but it should be better. See my temporary fix? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, that was just to kind of help keep it, keep her down. All right, y'all. Right, this is kind of what we've got working, what we're working with. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but it's pulling up from the floor right there. This board and this board I threw, this board and this board I threw in there last night just to try and keep it from pulling up any, any more. So, so what I've done, I've already spray painted this, but I removed the crank and now it's right there and got holes there. We're going to support it from up under and, uh, see what we can do and then we're going to put new longer bolts in the old ones were about rusted through some of them broke off and we're going to use three quarter inch plywood up under the floor because all this is good back here all back in here it's just really that back corner that's bad so this should support it to where we can use it because there was just no way we could take all that out to then cut this floor out and try to slide something back in um, cause all this is just, it's here. I mean, I just, I just don't know that we could remove all of that without, cause you got to remove what's up under this for an inch and everything. And I just don't know that we could get that done. So we're going to give this a try. You ready? Mm-hmm. Measure once and cut twice. <laughs> so I left a gap at the top so that when I lower the top, it'll sit down on it and then the cable will be loose so that I can move it out of the way so it's not under tension. Okay, so today I'm actually putting in the new hardware I had to get longer bolts um, because I've got three quarter inch plywood up under the original floor. Uh, so that's going to require these longer bolts. I went with stainless, hoping to uh, cut down on the rust uh, over time. So here we go, getting them installed. Works is a pretty good hammer. Okay. 
putting the crank back in. I got Elizabeth out here helping me. Hello. Got it there. Kinda. Okay. So I went outside and cranked it a little bit more to make it loose. I think that's gonna help. yep, that did it right there. Look at how easy it moves now. Perfect. So here's what we've got. There's the original floor. And then here is my three quarter plywood. And it kinda, it's, well not kinda, it spans between both frame rails. See where we had to notch it. Uh, I've got it supported with this jack stand here. And you can see where I started dropping the extra long bolts through. I might actually have to change some of them to even a little bit longer. I don't know if that one's pushed all the way through yet or not. I'll check. But, uh, yeah, this is what we got. And I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. But I am saying that this should work for what I need. Because I'll undercoat all of this I already painted it but I'll undercoat it as well to help protect it okay now the other one yeah I, I don't see let me see if I can get the flashlight on it. Oh. Okay. We've got it back installed. Now it's time to tighten up the crank and see what uh see if she works. Do some testing. Alright. This is the finished product for fixing the floor here. You see where I got that bracing in? Uh, caulked it and painted any surface that might could get water up under it even all the way back here I've already raised and lowered it twice and it seems to be working just fine If you like this video or any other videos that I've done, please do me a favor and subscribe and uh, hit the like button and ding the little bell. That way you get notifications anytime I post new videos.